It's old man, the landlord. It's the first episode of One Chance, One Life podcast. Shout out to that boy Wallo. You know what I'm saying? A million dollars worth of game, man. I was inspired by his video the other day. He said, get up and make it happen. So ain't no excuses, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Situation and everything will get greater later. Right now, we going with the flow. Ain't no excuses. So the first episode, you know, I, I want to talk to the youth today. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like... I jumped out the port young, man, 11, 12 years old. Shit, head first, you know what I'm saying? And shit, when I, you know what I'm saying, when I jumped out in the streets, like, a lot of the older niggas weren't giving me no game, you feel me? Shit, most of them, most of them was just trying to front me some dope and get me in their pocket, you know what I'm saying? They weren't really giving a nigga nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, I had to get it how I live, you know what I'm saying? I just thank God I was blessed with my own mind, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, I was always ahead. So a lot of the bullshit I ain't go for, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays it's like, you know, the new generation, like a lot of the game twisted, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them don't want to hear shit. A lot of them ain't got no guy. It's like, this shit just crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I just basically wanted to talk to them on this first episode, like, cause the streets tricky, man. Like, don't let this shit tr- tricky, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no love, ain't no loyalty, none of that shit in the streets, boy. Ain't nothing but betrayal and death in prison. That's all they're waiting for you as I hear, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't really here to preach to them and force them to make no kind of decisions like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you could you could you do what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever decisions you make, shit, just stand on them like a man. That's it, you know what I'm saying? And this shit, this shit tricky, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, money and murder don't mix. Like, you know, a lot of these niggas just killing for no reason. And yeah, money and murder don't mix, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good at getting you some goddamn money or you gonna be good at being a goddamn murderer man but that shit don't mix you know what i'm saying and this shit this shit just just tricky and confusing man so y'all young dudes got to like find something to believe in you know what i'm saying find something to stand on man and find some understanding you know what i'm saying because a lot of nonsense and a lot of bullshit going on in the streets and this shit this shit like getting crazy like innocent motherfuckers getting killed daily you know what I'm saying? The rate on stupidity just, you know what I'm saying? Hide in a motherfucker. Like, a lot of this shit just ain't adding up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to work. It's okay to get your job or two, get your slight. As long as you're getting you some money, man, without selling your soul in the process of doing no sucker ass shit to get it, man, it's okay. Streets ain't for everybody. Selling dope ain't for everybody. Scamming ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to find your path and find your way. This shit for real out here, you know what I'm saying? Even behind that wall. Prison. Some of the toughest niggas in the street, bitches behind that wall. Some of these niggas who doing all the killing out here, getting behind that wall, these niggas sucking dick. Niggas getting fucked. This shit real life. I'm telling you, I done seen with my own eyes. Fuck what another motherfucker telling me, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm just here to get to you youngsters blood raw. Like, I ain't sugar coated shit. This shit for real, man, you know what I'm saying? So, if you do choose the streets, man, Stand on it. You know what I'm saying? You go to get yourself in a fucked up predicament, man up. Like, don't point no fingers. None of that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Like, youngsters got to, you know what I'm saying? Stand firm on what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? Stand 10 toes down on the morals, the principles. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Like, this shit's serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get tricked out here and don't get lost out here. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit, this shit, this shit dangerous. This shit scary. This shit terrifying in the streets. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm gonna tell you all that. Cause that's what's going on out there. You know what I'm saying? The women, they'll trick you out your life. They playing both sides. You know what I'm saying? They going, they jumping on any dick that's winning. If he getting the money, okay, we go suck and fuck him. Oh, he getting some money too? Oh, that's his homie? They don't give a fuck. They go suck and fuck both of them. Like, right, that's how the gang go. Now it's a cross. Now they got you and your homie going at each other cause she fucking you telling you something and she sucking this dick and telling him something. <laughs> this shit dangerous out here, man. This shit scary. Like, you young niggas gotta get a full understanding of what the fuck y'all getting y'all self into before y'all get y'all self involved with the shit y'all getting y'all self involved with. You know what I'm saying? Innocent bystanders. Shit ain't, you know what I'm saying? The kids, the old people, that's off limits. But anything you doing in the underworld, they off limits. The kids and the old folks. Like, y'all gotta, come on, man. Keep this shit in mind. Play sports. That's cool, man. Read you some fucking books. Get you some knowledge, man. Expand your mind. You know what I'm saying? Nine days, man. It's a million fucking legitimate ways to get you some money, man. 
the street should be the last option. All this shit going on, all these successful black entrepreneurs, man, get on social media, all this motherfucking gang, get, get in front of the computer, all this motherfucking free gang that's been handing out. Apply this shit, get you some money. Find something that fits you and fit who you are, man, and apply this shit, get you some money, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't no fucking game, man. Prison is real, nigga. And graveyard is real. Shit ain't no game, man. I done looked dudes in their eyes, man, a hundred years. Forty years. Shit ain't no game. Old family done died on them behind that wall. Everybody done gave up on them. All they got is they self and God. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the one that got 50 year sentence. Now you wanna find God, cause that's all you got. So every day you wake up, only thing you wanna discuss is the Bible and God. Cause you ain't got nobody else. Your whole family dead, ain't nobody else fucking with you. Same hoe you were taking care of when you was hustling. Shit. They don't want to got the other nigga with the sack. Same nigga who you used to be beefing with, he got the sack now. So when you call her home from prison, get what? She fucking the enemy now. But you still got 25 more years left. So you can't even, even out here to kill him and her. You got to worry about these 25 years you still got to do. Like, this shit ain't no game, man. Like, I just want to break this shit all the way down for you youngsters, man, for y'all to get a fair understanding of this shit, like, from every angle, you know what I'm saying? Now, now of course, there's some money in the streets. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of money in the streets. There's a lot of different ways to get some money in the streets. I ain't gonna tell you that. But it's a lot of shit come with getting the money, you know what I'm saying? What you willing to sacrifice? You willing to share some blood behind that shit? You know what I'm saying? You willing to lose some family members behind that shit? You willing to die about that shit? You willing to go to prison about that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you willing to sacrifice to get the money? Because in order to get the money in the streets, you got to be willing to sacrifice something, nigga. You gonna give up your soul? Like, like what y'all gonna give up for this shit? You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't gonna get it without sacrificing something. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, like, y'all gotta think about all that shit. Like, like, this shit ain't no game, man. This shit for real, like, only way to win, man, is to get the fuck out the street. Only way you can win in the win is to get out the street. You can't win in the street. You got to win out the street. So the only way to win is to get out. You know what I'm saying? I got caught up young, bro. I got addicted to, to the money. I got addicted to the fast money. I got caught up young, bro. Shit, I wasn't no different from from the, from the junkies, the smokers. Shit, I was addicted to that shit. They was addicted to the crack, and I was, I was addicted to the money. That shit, I hide. That shit was a high that I couldn't control, bro. I couldn't control that high. Shit, I was getting higher than the goddamn crackhead. They just was putting the pipe in their mouth. I wasn't doing that. I was getting high off chasing the money. See what I'm saying? But I was caught up just like them. I was addicted to the money. Shit, I was caught up just like them. You know what I'm saying? It took me to get older to understand this shit. So now, like, I wake up every day, like, spending my time trying to figure this shit out. In a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit for real. You gotta get a better understanding of this shit. You know what I'm saying? The more positive energy you put out, man, the more positive energy come back to you. This shit ain't no game, man. This shit for real, bro. This shit, this shit, this shit ain't no game, bro. Don't let them trick you. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, if you do choose the street, man up. If the consequences come, that's all I'm saying, because I ain't here to preach to you. I ain't got a million dollars to put in your pocket to tell you, okay, here, man, get, do this, no, no, no. I'm just here to let you know, man, whatever decisions you make, stand firm on, on them decisions as a man. Whether they good or bad, stand firm on them decisions, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, like, I did a lot of shit in my life, like, I never broke the code. I never went against the grain. You know what I'm saying? I never pointed the finger at them other individuals when I got myself involved with crimes, like, you know what I'm saying? I stood tall on all that. You know what I'm saying? So as a man, like, I could look myself in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? But I've been through a lot, bro. And all the shit I've been through, like, I know for sure a lot of you young dudes ain't prepared to deal with that shit. Like, shit will break you mentally. You know what I'm saying? 21, I was already in prison. You know what I'm saying? 18, my mom was already dead. You know what I'm saying? 14, I was already a legend in the streets in my hood. Like, that shit brought a lot of attention. I thought I was ready for it, but mentally you gotta be prepared to deal with that attention. 
Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you youngsters got to be careful, like, and have a full understanding of what it is y'all trying to do. You might just want the money, but a lot of shit come with the money. Are you willing to accept? Are you able to deal with all the shit that come with the money, man? You know what I'm saying? I sit down and ask yourself this shit, man. I know a lot of niggas that just wanted the money. That's all they wanted. But they ended up with a lot of sin. But they ended up with 30, 40 years. You know what I'm saying? Some of them were smart enough to get a little money and get the fuck out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, get in and get out, man. That's what it's about. Don't stay in forever. I never seen a nigga not get out of this freezing wind. Like, you stay in the motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> you got us up. That's part of it, bro. That's part of it. You know what I'm saying? That's part of it, man. You know what I'm saying? I got older, I had to realize, like, what's real, what's real is taking care of your family, bro. Being there for them kids. Being there for your mama. Oh, that's what's real. All the other shit, that shit ain't about nothing. Shit artificial, that shit fake. You know what I'm saying? And in life, man, you go out and grow a lot of friends. You got to be willing to accept that. Like, I grew a lot of people. And I still got love for a lot of people that I outgrew, but it's like, we all grown up. They got kids to raise, I got kids to raise, you know what I'm saying? So we got to focus on our responsibility. Now, when I see these individuals, it's all love. Ain't no love lost, but we're both doing different things. They trying to feed their kids, I'm trying to feed my kids. Like, that's what life about. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else matter, man. Taking care of them kids, taking care of the family, standing on the business, you know what I'm saying, the right way. All that shit, man, that's what it's about. Getting closer with God, man, and finding your understanding, man, and chasing your dreams, man. You know what I'm saying? And salute to all the salute to all the OGs that, you know what I'm saying, that's properly guiding the youngsters and that properly pass the game down to the youngsters. And salute to all the OGs out there that's, you know what I'm saying, providing for the youth. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's through the pods, with the football, or whatever else. You know what I'm saying? I salute y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Because us being the OGs, we got to come together and supply these youngsters with all the knowledge and all the game that they need to survive in the correct way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, we got to come together worldwide with this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's help these youngsters out. All the way around the board, anywhere that we can. You know what I'm saying? We can't just be telling them, oh, don't do this, don't do that. Nah, whatever we can do for them. Help them not do that. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm with, trying to do with this one channel, one life platform, just create avenues and open doors. You know what I'm saying? For all the youngsters, you know what I'm saying? I'm all about the youngsters and the old people, man. I don't really too much, you know, any, anybody in between, man. You should be able to fend for yourself, you know what I'm saying? That's how I am with it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I just wanted you youngsters to know, like, man, a lot of blood being shed in those streets, you know what I'm saying? A lot of lo lives being lo lost in those streets. A lot of individuals, you know what I'm saying? Behind that wall from them streets, man, and begging and praying for a second chance. Some of them go get it, some of them ain't. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these niggas out here doing all the killers, man. They bitches behind the wall, man. You suck a dick behind that wall, man. I'm getting it to your blood, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's shit for real, man. All this shit corrupt and crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of devils, you know what I'm saying? A lot of devils out here. You got to keep your eyes open and pay attention to this shit. The shit that look good, really crazy. And it's really devilish, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to really like be able to sit down and analyze shit before you just jump into it. You feel what I'm saying? Don't just jump off that porch. Pay attention to all the shit that you seeing as you watching this shit from that porch. You know what I'm saying? Like, analyze this shit all the way through. Analyze this shit, man. Do a lot of more things. Do a lot of more read. Do a lot of observing, you know what I'm saying? Keep your mouth closed. Keep your ears open. This shit dangerous. This shit scary. This shit tricky. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no rules in the streets. Ain't no fucking rules, man. Your homie will blow your brains out, man. 20, 30,000. Ain't no fucking rules, man. Oh, man. We was dead ass wrong. Ain't no rules in the streets, man. Anything goes, man. Shit for real. So keep all that shit in the mind. 
when you choose the streets, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't playing, man. Niggas can't get to you, man. Nigga might say, fuck it and do it to your kids. Nigga might say, fuck it and do it to your mama. It's what goes on in the streets, man. Shit, the jungle, man. Ain't no animal safe in the jungle, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, for real, man. And I'm gonna end this shit like that, you know what I'm saying?